In all my projects, I seem to need a pop-up in many places. So I have created an Angular 2 component for this, uh, which uh, supports a head of time compartment. And I need this to sort of get fast access to, to having a pop-up with almost no code. So this is the sample page where you, it has events and I'm going to show you all of this later on, uh, but uh, it's quite easy to get into this. So uh, on my blog, I have a link uh, to the component on NPM and I will show you how to add this to your project uh, using Angular command line interface. So just in case you have not used Angular uh, CLI before, uh, uh, this is what I'm going to use throughout this sample. So go to CLI Angular IO and you will see there how to get started with your project and you need to do a couple of installations and you're actually up and running. So let's go right into it and open, open a command prompt and then navigate to your folder and do the ng new and the project name. This will create a folder for you and it will install all the dependencies that you need actually to run this project. And uh, I'm just going to step through this pretty fast because I'm going to show you the component and not Angular command line interface. So I use Visual Studio Code uh, for my development. And um, uh, what you do is you'll open the folder in the project you just created. And of course, you can see the package uh, JSON and all the dependencies that are installed into your project. So let's install uh, the uh, component as well. So that's uh, ng2 opd popup and do a save as well. So we can have for updates. So this will now install uh, the component in uh, your application and actually I will show you how this is installed as well. I'll, I'll go into the all the dependencies and all the modules that are installed and let's scroll down a bit uh, and you can see that the components is installed here and uh, you can also see that you have the metadata JSON on everything which then makes it support ahead of time compilement. So let's run it uh, with ng serve and this will then start the engine and uh, you can now see it's building our application and if you navigate to localhost 4200 is the port you can see the application runs and I'm just going to show you this is a component that is running. So next thing now is uh, if you go into my blog and uh, if you go to the uh, navigate to the the NPM and um, you can actually copy and paste code from there. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to import this module uh, into the app.modules and I also need to add the, the imports here and uh, that's actually the only thing we need to do in the module part. So in the component we of course need to inject it there as well. Let's, let's do the HTML first. And, uh, let's uh, put this on the top and uh, um, giving it an ID as well so we can reference that later on in our code. So what I do is I create a view child of the pop-up one and uh, let's put this here and then of course I need to reference view child from angular core and secondly I need to reference the pop-up as well so um, this will import the pop-up for you. I don't think you need a constructor here. And that's actually it. So we need something to fire this up. So we need to create a button here. So let's do that. Uh, let's do um, 
button and then add a click event to that button and uh, then we need the code behind for this as well and you can copy and paste everything from here so um, now in our components um, let's put in the click button event and we also need to add the options here so this is where you set animation with hide the uh, everything and percentage uh, of the width. So let's let's add this for now and try and run this. So we inject that to our pop-up and that's it. So it's building and now you have your custom HTML elements on the page. So um, if you want to try this out, you can go to the demo project and you can also, ha I've also added the source code for the demo project. So you can actually copy everything from there. And there's a couple of things going on here in, in the app. There's a multiple pop-up, a, a lot of pop-ups on one page, which I showed earlier. And those have different settings and some of them are catching events and and some are not. And the thing you do is you open a command prompt and navigate to your folder and then you'll do a git clone to, to get the project. And this is public, so feel free to use it. And I'm just gonna show you how this um, works. So let's, let's open this sample project and now Let's, I'll I have to go into that folder, VD pop-up sample, and then I'll need to install all the dependencies, uh, of course, from uh, so that we can run this project. And uh, when all the dependencies are installed, including the ng2 opd pop-up, then we can actually run the project. So do an ng serve and that will start uh, the, um, the server for you and we'll then build the project and let's give it a second here and you can reload. So just see, okay. So it's built, it's reloading, and now you're running the, the sample project for this. So you can check out how to use this in, in different ways. So if you navigate into your multiple pop-up and the HTML of your component here, and the TypeScript file as well, you can see how everything is plugged together. There's a single pop-up here as well, but uh, I'll show you just a second. This is just a pop-up giving static text and uh, nothing to it. So there's no reference, there's no ID or anything. It, and it has to be a single one on the page. And then you can just call the pop-up uh, dot show. And, uh, and that's it. So again, um, if you go to my uh, blog uh, and uh, go into that pop-up component, um, you will see uh, the criteria that I had in mind when I built this uh, pop-up. And uh, you can read how to get started and check it out. And uh, give me feedback, please. So. Thank you for watching and this is where you reach me.